In this video, we're going to show you a brand new system for mid-size contractors and do-it-yourself homeowners and business owners for self-installing spray foam insulation in your home or business. This is going to save you a ton of money and help you help the environment. And here we are in front of the uh, little pup. Uh, this would be startup procedure. We already have our ISO and our B-side uh, poly uh, foam that we manufacture. This is a 1.8 density foam. And um, so basically what we do is we turn on the main power. This is the uh, hose heat control. We're going to set that to uh, 110 degrees. And then we hit the set button. And then now the hose heat will slowly come up to temperature. Uh, the cool thing about the uh, little pup, uh, many, one of the many cool things about it is that we do run on standard 120 volt uh, AC power. And uh, this, the red indicates the uh, actual, te actual hose temperature. The uh, green indicates the set temperature. And we'll let that uh, warm up. Uh, yeah, we just activated this so less than oh, three minutes ago, I would say. And we're already up to uh, 91 degrees. Our target is 110. So this thing is going to be at operating temperature in less than uh, 10 minutes. And uh, as opposed to uh, we're the unit that we've been comparing this to, which is the Graco E10, which would probably take upwards of an hour to reach operating temperature. So it's going to be you roll in, you set it up, and you're up and running in uh, no time at all, saving you lots of time. Another big advantage of working with Aloha Energy is that we are offering our spray foam insulation in uh, two um, easier to handle components. We got the 15-gallon uh, pony kegs and we got the 5-gallon buckets. 5-gallon buckets will yield you approximately 450 board feet of material and the 15-gallon set will yield you 1,350 board feet of material. In either setup you can handle with uh, uh, one person lugging it around where uh, normally uh, spray foam insulation is uh, either delivered in uh, pressurized canisters which are very expensive or 55 gallon drums which are typically outside of the, uh, uh, the small general contractor or the uh, handy person ability to handle by, by themselves. And as you can see the whole system will f easily fit in somebody's small van uh, thereby being able to uh, move it around easily and keep all your components warm so you don't need a, a, a separate rig uh, well the, really a rig price minimum you're talking thirty thousand to fifty thousand dollars and here the entire set uh, under 10 grand. And just one other advantage of this uh, small spray foam machine is the, uh, the robustness of the, of the motor and the gear pumps. Uh, this is like uh, way over capacity. That this looks like it will probably last a lifetime. Very heavy duty pump. Uh, positive displacement gear pumps. Um, going to pump this. It's going to pump for many, many years. All right, now I'm pretty much uh, properly uh, dressed for doing uh, polyurethane spray foam insulating. This unit here is an external air respirator. What it does is it goes outside of the envelope where you're spraying, uh, really like outside, outside. It pulls fresh air in, runs it through the hose, brings it into your face mask, which uh, looks like that when you're wearing it. It blows fresh air into your entire face area, protecting your eyes and your lungs at the same time. Your hood Basically, this, the suit is just to keep this overspray from when you're getting on your clothes. Uh, and that's what you need to be doing spray foam insulation uh, safely. So the gun, this is in the uh, off mode. It would have been the way it would have been put away at night. This has got the night cap, they call it. So we'll remove the night cap. Take our mixing tube with our mixing segment cut down to about uh, two inches. Insert that in the mixing tube, put that on the tip, and the knurled nut over the top. And we're ready to go. On top here is the air control. The, uh, that's a needle valve and also uh, another needle valve adjustment over here. So we use this to uh, turn it on and off. Turns the, um, turns the air on. We're now we're actually spraying air and it's a nucleization process which actually mixes the two products uh, even before it hits the mixing tube. Now the gun's ready to go. You've already got your uh, unit activated. You open the valves. 
uh, for the ISO and the uh, resin, uh, activate the air, your electric trigger control, everything on and you're ready to spray, which we're going to do next. Ready to foam.